Now Intel, of course, best known for making the chips that go in computers and smartphones, but chips aren't very interesting to look at. So on the actual stand here at CES, they've got loads of really, really crazy technology on show that uses uh, Intel tech. So let's take a look at what we've got. First up here, we've got uh, just getting set up now is a virtual reality game, I believe, of volleyball using Oculus Rift. If I can just talk to this guy, yeah, is it a... Uh, yeah, hi. Hey, is it, is it Bruce? Bruce is the name? Bruce, yes, absolutely. I'm uh, Head of Developer Relations for Altspace VR. Amazing. So what is this? What's happening? What, what's going on? So what's going on is Altspace VR, we're all about social VR communication, looking at people in VR, nodding your head, shaking your head. And what we got real excited about was a partnership here with Intel. With a real sense 3D camera, you can bring hands into VR, just holding them up. Uh, there's a camera embedded in these laptops, brings your hands right into the scene in 3D. Uh, and so everyone's like having a good time, talking to each other, making gestures, peace signs, waves. But then they get some crash course training for some virtual beach volleyball. That's going to go cool. down in just a little bit. Sounds good. And if we take a look at the display there, which I think you've, you've just seen, that's, that's, what, yeah, that's, what the, that's what the people with wearing Oculus, that's what, that's what they're seeing? Yeah, so they're volleybots on this beach scene. And the person that's in the front of the screen there actually isn't here in Las Vegas. That's our referee in San Francisco. Really? You're beaming in the referee from San Francisco? You don't trust anyone here? Is that the problem? That's right. We, this is a very shady city. We need him to come in from SF, yeah. uh, do the referee, tell them all the instructions in VR, so you'll see people looking at their hands, making fun gestures, making jokes, singing songs in there, whatever he's doing to entertain them and explain the game. All right, sounds good. And uh, just finally, how people have been finding it? I mean, it, it looks a little bit funny from the outside to play, to kind of people uh, wearing these things, sort of waving their hands around looks a, looks looks a little weird but is it fun are they are people having a good time oh yeah uh, the most common response is awesome and uh, we've had a few people almost dive out of their chairs today try and go after volleyball so that's very cool well that sounds like a liability nightmare I think you I think you should be careful with that one all right thank you very much Bruce cheers take it easy all right now moving along let's see what else Intel has to show So over here, there's a huge queue for this because it's something that clearly has captured the imagination of everyone at the booth. It's a 3D scanning thing. We're going to go take a look and see what that is exactly. So what happens here if we move through the crowd? So this is a program that Intel's put together that scans your face. So what happens is someone kind of stands, stands in the middle. I've just had this done. And then uh, somebody walks around you with a tablet and they scan you, they get a 3D map of you, and then they send that into here. So if we can... Uh, so what exactly is, is happening here? Can you tell me what the process is? What's going on? We are actually about to do a demonstration using the RealSense camera technology in the um, tablet that we have. The tablet is a prototype. So we are going to take an image of this gentleman. Let me find him really quick. Son, where is he? As you can tell, there's a lot of excitement, so i got to find him. Where is... Oh, yes, you. Come here with me, sir. I'm going to have you stand right there. And then I just need three feet around him and I'm gonna have you stare straight and keep that beautiful smile that you have you can do that yeah but bring it in closer to you perfect stay right there don't move so now what I'm doing is I'm using the real sense camera that's a wicked pose we got going on while this guy's getting scanned let me ask you once that scan happens, what happens to the data? What's going on in this big orange box here? Well, so this is just doing a visualization of what the 3D data looks like once uh, once it's printed out. I can show you here. Uh, this is just a, the geometry that comes off of the camera. Uh, it's really nice to look at it in 3D. And because we can't really 3D print every every attendee here, we thought we would toss these in. And uh, we think they're pretty nice. So you're making people basically paperweights of themselves. And there's a huge queue for that. 3D crystal selfie. Everyone wants a crystal selfie of themselves. Is that a little vain, do you think? Oh, I, who, who cares? Who cares? <laughs> That's right. Anyway, it's really good fun. Thank you very much. Thanks for talking us through it. Okay, next up, let's go through this tunnel here. To calibrate the things are getting even busier, so bear with me. Okay, so in this corridor. We've got what Intel calls its real sense technology. Now this is really interesting because it's the kind of thing that we've seen before with stuff like Microsoft's Kinect sensor bar, but it's been taken to a ridiculous degree here today. So 
if you look up here, they're quite hard to see, but along the top, there are all of these cameras here. You can see they've all got the Intel logos up there. And what they're all doing, they're scanning everyone here, and you get this kind of massive projection. If I, if I sort of strike a pose here, you can see it's freezing me in ice. There we go. Look at that. I could have chosen a better pose. I've just got my arm in the air. I'm not a very exciting snowman. All right, so let's break that. Okay, right, moving on. So these cameras are short range 3D cameras. We're being uh, shipped with our partners and their devices. Now what I want to do is I want to talk to a guy I've met in here. His name is Paul, if I remember correctly. I hope it is. That's going to be an enormous faux pas if it isn't now. And he's going to tell us about how that depth sense technology works. By depth, his hands are in front of his face. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Hi, Paul. I'm really sorry to interrupt. Okay, yes, Luke from CNET you? here. I know you're in the middle of a demo. Awesome. Go ahead and type in your email for me, all right? Yes, hi. So, Paul, could you tell me what, like, everything in this corridor, what exactly is it doing and why is it good? Well, so, right now we're looking at Intel's RealSense camera, and we're in the tunnel. So you're looking at the same camera that you've been throughout the entire way. But this camera, my demonstration here is clearly showing how the, the camera has the ability to use sophisticated 3D data to really capture raw depth. The great thing about this camera is it's rendering in real time. So the user, when they're in front of the camera, which is short range, you want to be anywhere from 7 inches to 3 feet. But it renders so it knows the users in front only includes the user and excludes everybody behind him. All right, thank you, Paul. It's very, very cool. I can see you get really close detail. You can even see inside people's mouths, which is a little bit weird.